The NFL and its supporters were divided between standers and kneelers on Sunday, and country stars had a lot to say about the issue. For many, kneeling during the national anthem is a way to peacefully protest racial inequalities. Others see these protests as a sign of disrespect for the flag and the men and women who fight for our freedom. On Sunday, Megan Lindsay, runner-up on The Voice Season 8, performed the national anthem in Nashville before the Tennessee Titans took on the Seahawks. Lindsay knelt after her performance, fully aware of the backlash she would receive. The singer says she received both boos and praise for her decision, but ultimately she says, quote, I knew what I was getting into. I just always want to stand on the right side of history, and I always want to demonstrate straight love, so that was my ultimate goal. Thumbs up this video if you agree with that statement, and if you don't, explain why in the comment section below, but keep it civil. Of course, Twitter was on fire all day. Many attacked Lindsay, but she received some major support as well. Many country artists weighed in on the protests. Kelly Clarkson started a ruckus on Twitter by retweeting a statement made by Army veteran and president of Let America Vote, Jason Kander. On the other side, John Rich made his stance known by reminding followers that Sunday was Gold Star Mother's Day, a day to honor mothers who lost a son or daughter in combat. That. And by retweeting an article claiming Jerry Jones, owner of the Dallas Cowboys, threatened to kick any player off the team if he decided to protest the anthem. Jones actually never said that, but has strongly encouraged his players to not use the anthem as a social platform. Thanks for watching and subscribing. There's one thing we can all agree on, isn't there? Chris Jansen explaining who inspires him is sweet enough to cause cavities. Check it out.